I lie through the trees, bright light. Let me feel sweet lies, favor. What's going on guys? Back out here in the woods today, working on some gear reviews for you guys in the gear sector. Today we're talking about my friend Tyler over at Wildwood Self-Reliance. I've been looking to create a minimalist, you know, bushcrafting, like traditional bushcraft style pack here recently to go out and do some minimal, you know, like overnights and really work on my primitive skills. And I got connected with Tyler over at wildwoodselfreliance.com. He hooked me up with a bunch of great stuff and I really want to show it to you guys because it's some top notch bushcrafting gear. So stick around, don't go anywhere and we'll dive right into it. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna take a look at here is my favorite of the bunch. It's just one of those really nice to have items. It's not a must have item, especially in a survival pack. It's more for bush crafting and you know, longer term field training. It's called the bush mat and it's a really versatile piece of gear. You can use it as a knee pad. You can use it as a pillow. You can use it as a little tabletop to roll your gear out on and you know, keep everything nice and neat. It's got a wide variety of uses and it comes in a wide variety of colors. And so I really like this because it's, it's very affordable. It comes in right around 40 bucks and uh, it's just an awesome piece of gear to have. Like I said, it's not mandatory, but it's really nice to have. It, it's the little things like having a pillow in the field or having a knee pad and it, it, little things like that that make longer term field training much more sustainable because it gives you a little bit of a morale boost and you guys know how big and awesome that morale boost can feel if you guys do a lot of training so uh, really cool to have it comes in right around seven ounces you can throw it right on the bottom of a pack you can even fold it in half again and tuck it down in something um, you know just a really cool piece of gear it's made out of a thousand D Cordura nylon so it's waterproof and then on the flip side here it's got a reflective insulating material, which is really cool because it's 10 pounds puncture resistant and it reflects up to 95% radiant heat. You've also got grommet holes on all four corners so you can tie it out, right? right by the fire and point it towards your shelter and reflect a lot of that heat and as you guys know regulating your core body temperature in a survival situation is of the utmost importance so you can use this thing as a knee pad by folding it over right you, you, you want to fold it in half because it's not recommended that you use the reflective side against the ground right you, although it is puncture resistant you don't want to take that risk so just simply fold it in half for a knee pad you get much more padding you can even fold it in half again and use it like that and then you see how thick that is it makes a really really great knee pad or pillow uh, i used it out in the field here during a, a recent training event that we did up in virginia for the tribe and i used this thing as a pillow and it worked great so by far you know the stitching is great really really great stitching on this thing uh, and overall like all the things that he builds and, and makes is is really really high quality stuff i was really impressed with the craftsmanship of all these things and they're all handmade guys so you know, I, I try to support people who make good quality handmade gear. You got his logo, of course, leather stamp right there, sewn into the side. And like I said, it comes in a lot of different colors, guys. So check out the bush mat. Tyler also sent over some other great stuff. We've got some roll top stuff sacks here. This is the smaller one that he sells. You've got, of course, his logo and everything embroidered and stitched in right there. Got a nice camo here on this one, but it, like again, just like a lot of his stuff comes in a wide variety of colors. Superb stitching there on the top nice and sturdy very thick materials very robust and uh you know just roll it up obviously it's just like you know any other traditional stuff sack you've seen made out of a thousand d so it is you know waterproof so that rolls up nice and tight and compact when you're not using it it does also come with some bigger sizes he's got multiple sizes of this thing right now i've got a bunch of dog food in here uh, for this one but you can use these you know to hang hang food bags you can stuff your clothes in them to keep them dry. You can stuff your electronics in them to keep them dry. It, you know, dry bags are just a really, really good thing to have. So uh, definitely check out the roll top stuff sacks. We've also got some wilderness wax here made out of 100% beeswax. This is really, really good stuff. This here's a mini belt pouch. It's a little dump pouch. You just throw it, you know, of course, a this here's a mini belt pouch. It's just a little dump pouch you can throw on your belt here, there. You got the little belt loops in the back. When you open the flap there, you got the, the Wildwood logo. Nice, secure snap button there. Nice, positive lockup. 
and just a big little dump pouch you know it's small when it's compact but it's pretty large when you get it open it's got the uh, oil skin dump pouch here uh, you know good to just throw on the belt you know when you're when you're walking around the woods foraging or something like that you know you can grab tinder along along the trail uh, anything you know throw your game in there if you, if you snag a squirrel or uh, you know any kind of other rodents or something like that you know you can throw them in here uh, just a nice little addition lightweight throw it on the belt and you're good to go next up We've got a little oil skin possibles pouch here got the logo there uh, Nice and simple, but very very high quality good stitch across the top nice cinch up there And it stays nice and secure it doesn't you know really come loose super easy uh, He also like down inside this I found this little tiny tinder tube I don't know if he meant to send this or not But it's not like something I seen on his website or anything, but it's just got like you know some really fine fat wood down in there so that's pretty cool uh, i think he might just maybe he might just be throwing those into orders you know as little bonuses pretty cool next thing we got here is a tender tin and one thing i want to mention about this tin that i like about it over the others that i've seen is that it's a screw top right you got to screw unscrew it to get it open now a lot of them are pop tops they just pop right off and sometimes when they're in your pack they can just pop right off and you know shit gets everywhere so it's just uh really nice to have a screw top one you got the little you got the branding there on the inside but it comes cram packed as you can see here with tons of really really great tender product there feathers you got birch bark you got all kinds of really great tender there and this stuff ignites instantaneously really great to have he also sent over this really awesome tinder pouch here and this thing is just beautiful feels great in the hand really good quality leather got the wildwood logo there on the front and i really like his logo it's real bush crafty he's got that woodsman vibe to it got the little bit of antler right there for the cinch up and on the inside here i'm just working with i've got a bearing block here for a little bow drill fire action if you want one of these um, you can find them on like amazon and stuff like that a uh, really good little piece of piece of kit to have he also sent over uh, a ferro rod and I don't believe he actually made this one but this is a really great ferro rod and one thing that I'll mention about this ferro rod that I like about it over others is that a lot of times they don't when they have the striker connected to it that string is not typically long enough to clear the rod well so you can't get good sparks out of it but this thing it's got just enough length to clear that rod and it really showers the sparks. So this is a really good quality ferro rod. And the last thing that I keep in my little tinder pouch there is some, fa some fat wood. If you don't know what fat wood is, it's just really great stuff to have for starting fires. It's pine resin built up into the wood. So whenever you shave it off, it takes a spark really well. So it's water resistant because all of that resin and it's really good for getting fire started in wet conditions. All right guys, so the last item and an item that I'm also going to pick one of you guys to win is this really nice Altoid survival tin pouch and this thing is just phenomenal and you know there's really not a lot to talk about it because it's a pretty simple product obviously but you got the belt loop on the back there of course the logo got a nice snap button on the front with a bear I think you can actually get other things on there as well just you know make sure you ask him uh, nice lock up there on the snap not gonna come undone by accident um, and you can fit your pouch right down there your survival tin right down in there so like I said really not a lot to talk about but just admire the thing man really really looks nice so hey guys if you want to win this thing youtube has actually enabled a new feature for c creators to communicate better with their fan base and it's called the community tab on our youtube page you can click the community tab and drop a comment and what i want you guys to do is let's say since it's thanksgiving go on to that community tab drop us a comment and let us know what you are most thankful for and at the end of this month on thanksgiving i'm going to announce a winner i'm going to pick you and i'm going to comment and you'll let you know that you won and everything and i'm going to ship this to you for free just for supporting our channel so hey guys if you dig this if you like this gear be sure to go check out tyler over at wildwoodselfreliance.com let him know we sent you he might hook you up with a deal and you know till next time guys if you like if you like this video drop me a like drop me a comment Share and subscribe to the channel for more. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Why life with me? Oh, cry, cry.